How to inspect an element on Mac? How to inspect an element in Safari? Open the Safari browser. From the menu bar, click on Safari and select Preferences. Go to the Advanced tab. At the bottom of the Preference window, check the box next to Show Develop menu in Menu Bar. When done, exit the window. When you want to inspect an element, right-click on the item you would like to inspect. Then click on Inspect Element. The website code will appear from the bottom of the Safari window, and the item code will be highlighted. How to inspect an element in Google Chrome? Open the Chrome browser. Go to a website you want to inspect. When you find an element you want to inspect on the website, right-click on it. Then, select Inspect. The website code will appear in the right corner of the Chrome window, and the item code will be highlighted. How to inspect an element in Firefox? Open the Firefox browser. Go to a website you want to inspect. When you find an element you want to inspect on the website, right-click on it. Then, select Inspect. The website code will appear at the bottom of the Firefox window, and the item code will be highlighted. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more and an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.